<laughs> you are so funny, Dr. Energy. Uh, and we're live. We are. So let's close this down. Dr. Energy, mm. how are you? I'm doing really well. It started off, started off a bit of a low energy day today, but I'm picking it up a little bit, I think. Kicked your own butt? Kicked my own butt. Kicked myself into gear a little bit. Right up, right up to being ready for everything at 12 o'clock. Exactly. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about where we are. My name mm -hmm. is Catherine Starrow Myers, affectionately known as Rara is in the house. The house. Dr. Energy, where are you at? That's me. All right. Let's go for it. Let's jump right into the tools that we use to build our audience and our community. So the tools that we wanted to talk about today is um, our email newsletter campaign that we use and tool. There's so many different email newsletter tools out there. I mean, we can all name all the big ones, right? There's the there's the monkey one. There's the um, <laughs> there, there, there's funny. there's there's the funnels one. There is the <laughs> constant one. There is you know there's a, there's all there's all of those ones. Oh, you you like that? Saying it without saying it. Oh, I love that. I love that. You just, you know what? I am your biggest fan. That's all I can say. <laughs> so what we we are currently have been using up till now, the monkey one. And there are some limitations with using the free plan. And we made a conscious choice to use the free versions to start in order to, so we could see what the limitations are, are, are and that we could walk other business owners through it and see what they wanted to use and how to do that and how to navigate that. And now we're looking at upgrading to a paid one. In fact, we've already done made the upgrade and we're still t tinkering with it in the background. I, I really like automated things. Mm -hmm. I just want to give you sort of my preference. Right. I like when things are effortless. Right. I like to do the work and think about the work and check in on how the work is going. I've always been a fan of that. I like when you can go in and create something and set up the whole strategy and then just let it ride. Right. So my whole concept is I don't want to babysit the mechanisms that I have, the tools in, in our business life, in my business life. I want to learn them, learn them to the, as much as I can, create the idea, the structure, and then get into working so when a tool does that for me, then I'm really in. Now, I remember before we had any of these tools, like not just you and I, <laughs> yeah, before yeah. we had these tools, you know, business was a little bit different. When I hear people now saying, I want to, I want to engage, I want to create, I want mm. to develop an audience. I remember, I take a deep breath and I almost want to say, do you know what you're in for? <laughs> but what I really want to say is, you know, take a deep breath and follow someone. Right. Follow a path, follow two people, follow five people, but create something that doesn't put your energy into the thing that you could already be done with. I, I like to say, make a list of what you want to accomplish mm -hmm. and then don't really worry too much about the how, but then go find the expert that can tell you a way to get that. So if you want to accomplish subscribers because you're looking for monthly content, then Go hire an expert and say, this is what I want to do. How do you recommend I do it? And then right. go hire a VA, a virtual assistant company to go and implement it for you. So I, I do believe it takes a tribe. Once we make these decisions, yeah. it's important to know that the tools are there. Not everybody can do it themselves. True. And there's no reason to go out and create a smooth, seamless, well-oiled machine. Right. And I would agree with all that. And the the automation, this is one of the things with, on some of the other ones on the free plans, like the monkey one and the constant one and the funnels one and the active one, some of the free, some of those services or functionalities are restricted on the free plans. Automate the process so that it will send out specific emails starting, hey, welcome to our newsletter. Here's your free PDF download and video training. And then here's the next one each day if you want it, if you do a daily follow-up one. And then and then it will tag and it will automatically tag those people as they 
as they sign up for the e e email newsletter. And then you will have specific landing pages where you can have a particular service. So for example, if we were, we were going to offer a live webinar, we could build a specific landing page within SendFox for that. And anybody signs up for that will get the information, but it'll all be automated and they get tagged with that label that they signed up for that specific webinar. So now we're starting to look at and able to send messages and see what people are interested in and then send them messages based on what they are actually interested in, not what we assume that they're interested in. So now we're starting to use the data to be able to communicate more effectively, more efficiently with our audience and with our community. And so the automation is amazing for that. Right. Let's talk about sort of on topic, the mm -hmm. audience communication, because once we set these tools up <clears throat> and the audience chooses where they want to go, then there's a way to continue keeping that door open. You know, do you ever get mm -hmm. ghosted? Like somebody signs up and then you never hear from them, but they're signed up and, and they're paying and you don't really hear what's going on. So once you set up your subscription, you may want to think about tapping into, touching base with the customer that did take their credit card out and right. sign up with you. And what can come from that? Because there's a group of people that you speak to that either do buy from you or they're on the fence about buying from you. And yet they know all these other people that probably want what you have. So how do you engage with what's the next level of setting it up and talking to those people about, is there someone that you know that this information could be valuable? So you don't want to constantly be asking people, who do you know? And like, who would this be good for? We really need to be creative about this because then we're just like the same old, same old email that we got from the other company that's shooting off, you know, five emails a week and you're doing one a month because you're going to get lost if that's all you're doing. So find a creative way, understand your audience and find a way to have them engage with you so that you too, maybe you want to take a poll, maybe you want to do a giveaway, maybe you want to have a client appreciation as we do. Maybe we can talk a little bit about that, Dr. Energy, client appreciation mm -hmm. month. We can talk a little bit about like tools that we use, like we're currently we're using one and you probably received that in an email from us. So let's let's explain that because that's another engagement tool. Do you want so, to do that? Well, that that is one of the tools that we're actually going to talk about in part three of this series next week. Okay, so, but the email went out, right? The email went out and you will have received that from us if you're signed up on our news on our email list. Uh, and it, it involves using voice and or uh, no only voice, not uh, not video, so you don't even have to put on makeup or anything like that. It's just all voice. And there's ways of using that to really um, receive testimonials and third-party credibility from your clients. Because let's face it, when we are the ones saying, hey, this is an amazing service, you should sign up, blah, 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 it's you're going, yeah, but you have a vested interest. In you're trying to sell me something. But when it's client, your, your clients giving you a testimonial and how pleased and giving a specific example of what transformation they received, what benefits they received from taking a webinar with you, taking a course with you, engaging in coaching services or consulting services or whatever, or using your product, that speaks more to other people than it will if you're doing it yourself or if you're having your friends and family do it because people can usually see right through that. So it's really important to be able to to bring that that aspect in. As you do receive this audio option to click on that and give a mm -hmm. testimonial, I'll tell you the other thing that it gives you. So for us, yes, we'll get a testimonial, but we will be engaging with you on what you're getting. So yeah. how do we know how to give you more? When you say, for example, that Facebook Live was amazing. I get such great value. It's, you know, it's, it's free and I love it. How do I have more of it? And then we say, great, you know, our, our subscriptions are going to be valuable to that person because they love what we do on the lives. So when you give someone a testimonial, be specific. And when a, a prospect or a customer is specific, you can give them more. And right. that's what we want to do. So I, I sparked your interest. I mean, you did. I, I, you remember, yeah. I remember what I wanted to say now. So we've all received 
questionnaires, follow-up questionnaires from when we go shopping, you know, like Canadian Tire or Best Buy or whatever it might right be. Here. Yeah. And, go and there's so shoppers and you and, win and, stuff. But no, but I'm talking about from email. <laughs> oh, right. right and, right. and it's the questions are all so self-serving and they're all very, you know, give us your feedback. And it's all self-serving questions that are asked in such a way that you almost can't answer it negatively. And there's not, and they don't, and it's all multiple choice versus, and, and it's, they don't engage with you as the client. Whereas when you ask for something specific in a video or an audio, you're going to get very specific feedback from people and you're going to, what are they interested in? What are they not interested in? What would they like to hear from you about? And now that is engaging with your audience. And that's what our goal was with this. And then we can even, if your audience, your, the person responding agrees, you can post that on your website or in your social media with links back to that person's website. So people see, hey, this is a real person giving a real testimonial and maybe I'd like to even use their services. So it becomes a win-win-win situation for everybody, for you, for the person giving the testimonial and for the person observing the testimonial because they may discover some services or products that they didn't, that they were looking for and didn't know where to find. And now because you're a trusted source, they're gonna take, they're gonna follow through. So that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's such an awesome point because if you're starting out, now you might be extremely seasoned and you might be doing this for years, it's still the same subject. Mm -hmm. No matter how big your list is, yes, the bigger your list, the more chance you have of people going and buying things. So if you put out a promotion and you have a list of 10,000 people as opposed to you know 100 people, there's a greater chance. Mm -hmm. But the strategy is still the same. Give more than people expect under promise and over deliver put things together for people that they say wow if i don't buy this right now they might put the price up you know i recently did this with my membership to mm -hmm. where i just recently joined i want to join now because if the price goes up i'm going to mm -hmm. miss out right. now there's a way to deliver that value to people a don't sell yourself cheap and B, know what you're worth mm -hmm. and let other people know what, what it's worth. So that way, when they see you go buy ladies Manolo Blahnik shoes for $1,800 or $2,000 <laughs> and you see them on sale for $700, they are no longer expensive shoes. Right. So when you know the value of something, so that's why aren't, I can aren't that. those the pairs with the red on the soles? It, no, not these. Those are, those are, oh, I'm going to, that's a different brand. Okay. I I forgot, yeah. I forgot that brand. So, um, when you see something and you know what the value is, you no longer think, well, those are $700 shoes. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. No, they're 2000 they're $3,000 shoes, they're $2,500 shoes, and it's great. So when you're giving value to people, keep in mind, know your value, communicate what the value is by mm -hmm. obviously giving so that you hear feedback. And in these testimonials, this tool that we're using We'll hear what you say, we'll hear what you're getting, and then we'll give more. Because if you ghost the place that you engaged in in the first place, you're really not doing a service to yourself either. If I'm getting an email, like you said, you signed up with Roger Love. Mm. If you if you get it and I signed up to him too, if you're getting information from Roger Love and he asked you to do something, you go there and do it because he's going to funnel you into something else, right? Sure. So if you want to get more of what you're really looking for, jump into it. That's the reason you subscribe to something because you're interested in the first place. Exactly. And then the other thing is, you know, as you mentioned, just like everybody out there, our interests change over time as well. So when you've subscribed to stuff and you're getting these emails, if you don't want them, then actually it does us a favor if you unsubscribe. Because if you're not interested in what we have to offer, then unsubscribe. We're okay with that. You know, do we want to see you go? Not really. But if it's really not serving your interest, then unsubscribe because then it it affects what we deliver and it affects the, uh, in the email service industry, it actually affects the deliverability of emails when people are opening or not opening and engaging with 
emails. So if what we have no longer interests you, we're okay with letting you go. People outgrow people. It happens all the time. It happens in relationships. It happens in business. It happens in care, self-care, healthcare, all those types of things. So be engaged with, with the ones that you want to be engaged with. Love the ones you're with, but you know what came to mind? Great song. Now, I know this is a G-rated show, but you yes. know, uh, I'll, I'll say it. We'd love to win you back because you know how good it is to have makeup mm. dinner. Yes. So if you do <laughs> decide to unsubscribe to someone, as we do, and then we win you back because we hit the topics that you now say you are interested in, right. then awesome. That means that we are speaking to you and you are our avatar now again. Right. So the more we learn from our audience, the more we get to speak to you. If you're in the general auditorium because you're getting general basic emails, we may lose you. If you want to learn a little bit more, then go into the next room. If you have a list of emails that you haven't opened, maybe you're missing something. Mm -hmm. So go and spend, you know, 10 minutes, five minutes, open them up and see where you can go so that the information might in fact impact your business or your personal life. So like you say, of course, we don't want to see you go, but we love those makeup dinners because when we win you back, it's so much sweeter. <laughs> Because it's the part after dinner that's really a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, you, what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> we want you to stick around. We want you to come back. And we want to hit the sweet spot. We want to make yeah. sure that we've got you exactly what you want. We don't yeah. want you to come to us and say, oh, that again. You know, you know, with, the, with that makeup dinner, would you want to partake of something that you don't enjoy? No. You're going to ask, you should ask for exactly what you want. If you're not getting what you want, ask for it. Otherwise, you're not, you ain't going to get it. You ain't going right. to get it if you don't That's ask right. for it. Same so. thing goes with these tools with your businesses. As you're growing your business, think of it as it's very, business is personal. When someone of says, oh, it's it only business, it's, no, personal. No, it's personal. Someone says no, they say no to you. They say no because you didn't happen to present it in a way that it enticed them. If someone exactly. says, no, thank you, I really have enough of that. Do you ever buy Girl Scout cookies? You always had enough Girl Scout cookies, but you always bought them because the person at the door, you thought I'm going to contribute. Mm. So remember that we really have to make ourselves very approachable and appealing. So when you were going with your kids and you were helping them go door to door back in the days when that used to be done, you know, sponsor me for the run and the walk. Most people would just do it because they thought, oh, what a cute thing and what a what a great cause. And if you're not like cute with a great cause, you're probably going to get a lot of no's. So find a way to be cute. Not face cute, but find a way to be cute. Create your story, find, your shtick. Find a way to be engaging, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing. So that people will engage with you. When you invite them, they will say yes. Yes, and. Let's move on. So moving on, I, that covers, we cover tools that we, that we wanted to cover today. And I think that uh, this is a great place to say, see you next week. Let's <laughs> wrap this up, call it a day, and we'll see you all next week right here. Same time, same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> Until next week, ciao. Ciao, thank you. See you on the other side.